Hambone, don't sleep here. You're gonna be picked up by bats and taken away. Ooh. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? That's why I'm gonna make myself into a robot. Ah, uh, looking for a sweet pea. We'll pay a flat rate on delivery. Elliot, wait, isn't that Elliot right? <laughs> Elliot, come back. I got your sweet pea, buddy. Yeah. Oh dear, my shoes are filled with sand. There's an owl. Whoa. Don't eat my baby animals. Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Stardew Valley. Last episode, we completed the most important quest in the entire game, recovering the mayor's lucky purple shorts. And if that wasn't enough for this little farmer to hang up his straw hat and call it a day, we also set up our first set of sprinklers, we daydreamed about baby cows filling up our newly completed barn, and learned a valuable life lesson about why you should never surprise your friends at work. Maru had a little accident on the job. She's okay, we're okay. Makes it sound like like the type of accident that Linus had behind the bush out in the woods. But no, it was just a broken beaker, and she told the truth to her boss. It all worked out in the end. I think our relationship is even stronger for it. And if it takes a few broken beakers for us to fall in love, then it will have been worth it. So I want to fill the barnyard today with some cows, some little calves. And I'll fix this fence in the future. Don't worry, guys. There's just a crop in the way right now. But I'm going to name these four little baby cows based on your suggestions in the comments. Thank you guys again for all the name suggestions. And if yours doesn't get used, don't worry. We have a bunch of animals on the way as well. We got rabbits, ducks, sheep, goat, all these things. Pigs, slimes, dinosaurs. <laughs> There's a lot. More than most farming simulators. So today, we got to do a few chores here to kill some time because Marnie's does not open until 9. She's been closed Monday and Tuesday, so I've been excited to get these little guys mooing all over the place on the ranch. But for now, I want to talk about some news. The developer, Concerned Ape, had an announcement on Twitter. He came out of the shadows just long enough to, uh, <laughs> to talk about the new versions coming out very soon. So if you've got a desktop that's not a PC, then you can play Stardew Valley on the 29th for Mac and Linux. So there we go. And this is also in addition, if you missed the news, about all the console versions of Stardew Valley coming out this winter. So most systems and things can play it by the end of the year is, is what we're getting here. Now, he also did mention that multiplayer, the localizations for different versions, and the big 1.1 update, that's also still on the way. He's still working. He disappeared back into the shadows again to work on new features. So there we go. I accidentally left the coop open again. Oh no, poor little guy. I think they're okay. If it's summer, they don't seem to mind too much, but I have read that in the cold winter months, they might not be so happy if the cold winds blow in. It's probably good to air that place out. I bet it stinks. I'm gonna grab some eggs, put some in the mayonnaise machines, but we do wanna save at least one. It's Sam's birthday today. Sam, of course, the, uh, the kid who, the first one in town to become a Super Saiyan get this out of here because I don't want that tree growing in front of my gate but yeah Sam I always mix him up with some of the other characters there's a lot of s named characters in this game we got Sam Sebastian Shane and then the M names I always combined Maru and Marnie to make Marnu who is some type of weird space alien but anyways uh, so yeah Sam's birthday we'll go give him an egg I got some more gold melons we need two more for that bundle but we're looking good it's already past nine so let's go We'll go pick up some babies at the store, at the baby store. I'm waiting to cut a lot of this until we have another silo, but I do need to clear out some more of this land. If we get the copper pickaxe, we can break these. I might try to uh, get my steel normal axe a little sooner because there is like a secret woods over here that we can get into with tons of hardwood, which I need to upgrade my house eventually, as well as build some stuff like the stable that I want. So maybe I'll buy some iron from Clint. We'll worry about that later. For now, let's get these guys. So I'm gonna grab a milk pail. So we do have the money. I won't need that for a few days. And I'll hold off on the heater because it's not winter yet, but it's time to buy some dairy cows. 1,500 a pop, but I think it'll be worth it. Just like the chickens. I think they've paid for themselves by now. All right. So first up, we have one of the names suggested by you guys is of course, Gerto. No, <laughs> that would be, a lot of these sound like weird alien names for cows. Bobo, Chimina, Masper. All right, so first up, this was one that I mentioned before and a couple people suggested it like Anna and Zachary. It's Mozart to go with Bach, our little other composer named 
animal down on the farm. So there we go. That's going to be our first little cow. She's going to her new home right away. Who's taking her over there? Do you have another staff member that I don't know about? They just kind of put something delicious, some hay down on the farm, and it followed it. So next up here, this was suggested by that Psyduck guy, big Pokemon fan. He said, you know, Miltank, Tauros, a bunch of Pokemon names, but I'm going to go with his suggestion for Whitney, which is the gold and silver gym leader that gave so many people trouble back in the day with her Miltank. So that's a nice little uh, nod to that. Next up, a uh, yokai had inspirited the, the comments. He, he possessed somebody's computer to post. This was Dragon Slayer Shogun Neon, and he suggested Mamu. Uh, kind of like linked to Maru, I guess. I don't, I guess it kind of sounds like Maru. Pro tip, you know, a life tip out there for everybody. Don't name an animal after your girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> it won't go over well. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a good name. I like Mamu. It's a cute name. So we're going to go with that. And then last but not least, this was suggested by Jay Alexander with his little watermelon Steven icon. He had a cat recently named Chumbas. No named Coco that passed away. So we're going to name a little cow Coco, and hopefully it's a brown cow. I think it's random, just kind of like with the chickens, whether we get a brown or white one. So it might be ironically named, but hopefully it will be brown in honor of, of uh, J. Alexander's cat. So here we go. We're going to head back to the barn to see some shaky-legged little baby cat. Hopefully they're not, <laughs> hopefully they're old enough where they're not like wobbling around. That would be kind of sad, but they're ready to be released, they're gonna have a big old war with the chickens over some food. I did some, make some uh, makeshift feeders here with the fence, you guys probably noticed. And be careful, Logan, don't get trampled. We're gonna let him out, but we only have one brown cow, and it's Coco, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well, Coco seems curious, but a little cautious, it's a strange new world. Aw, they're adorable. Well, that worked out. I, uh, I think it's pretty random. Most animals, people tend to name them based off of appearance, so it's a little unfortunate we can't pick what our cow is gonna look like, but it worked out in the end. I'm gonna release the cows, and they're all stampeding out, going straight for that feed. They're real hungry and real cute. Okay, so I'll leave them there. We can't milk them yet, so I'll throw this in my little uh, tool chest. There we go. Uh, we should head into town. I can come back and do some chores later. But we can head into town and see if we can find Sam real quick here. Ooh, we got wiggle worms. Let's grab those. I mentioned we got like 5,000. Ooh, a prehistoric hand axe. Is that? Yeah, it's an artifact. Okay. And there's more. Jeez. We got so many little worms. Got some clay. I need to build that silo before winter comes. But we, you know, we got time. I want to make sure we have tons of feed for all my animals. There's Haley going by. What's the quest here? Oop. Today, yeah, today's Sam's birthday. So I got to track him down. And it's another one to kill slimes, but until it rains, I'm probably not going to head into the old mines. Hey, there's Sam. Sam, I got this for you. Come here, buddy. I got an egg. A delicious egg. I think Jody is his mom, so they're hanging out together. You remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. With this power, I can go... Oh, hi, taking the day off. Sounds interesting. With this egg, I'll have enough protein to... Ah, no. He goes Super Saiyan 3 and his hair gets really long, and there's no barber in town to cut it checking the trash cans because it said we had a very a very happy day ahead at the fortune tellers channel so i was hoping we'd find something but if not it's all right we can go you know just kind of get some uh some artifacts donated or just this one abigail's here reading you don't usually see her or at least i don't usually see her hanging out we got a new reward Ooh, what's it gonna be gimme 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 gunta it's a night on Echo Hill. It's a picture. Okay. I'll put that up. I don't mind. It'll probably look good. I haven't really done too... Other than putting that geode down, I haven't done much to decorate my house. And uh, nothing in there. So, okay. Let me see how much I got. I think it's going to cost, like, almost 2,000 to buy enough iron. We need, like, 11 to make enough to, uh, to get this thing. I might just do it, guys. I got the money... I'm going to buy 11 iron. That's a big dent. But we should maybe have enough tomorrow to upgrade it. I'm uh, I'm just, you know, speeding it up a little bit. I know we could go into the mines and try to get deeper. I think it's like below level 40 is where iron starts showing up for the most part. But we got the cash to do it, and I want to get that pickaxe upgraded so that we can get the wood. I really want to get a stable set up and, uh, and have that horse. I'm going to buy some seed. Oh, no, it's closed on Wednesdays. Ah, we can come back tomorrow. I was going to say, we should buy some radishes. Those seem to be the best thing that only take a little bit to grow. 
And right now, we don't really have too much we can plant, unfortunately. And Pierre is closed. I'm going to go back to the farm, smelt this up, and, uh, and do some chores. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So we got our five iron bars. And if we make enough off of crops, tomorrow I'm going to upgrade my axe. We have some pickled corn. I'll throw some more in there. And we'll just sell that. And I'm going to head over to Marius because I heard there's another event that is supposed to happen when, I think when we reach seven hearts, we might be all, like seven or eight, or maybe it was six hearts. Hambone, don't sleep here. You're going to be picked up by bats and taken away. Ooh, there's an apple. I'm going to save that because I know we need some fruit for bundles and I shouldn't have sold the other fruit. But, you know, live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to head over to Maru's. I think it's after nine when this event is supposed to take place. And hopefully it'll happen. Because last time we did have the one at Harvey's Clinic. And oh, here we go. Yeah. Ooh, this is beautiful. We got our own little backdrop here. And oh, we're walking in on her doing some stargazing. I hope uh, this isn't uncouth of me, milady. Adam, I'm surprised to see you here so late. Let me look through your telescope. She did offer to let us come in her room and tinker with her gadgets last time, so hopefully her telescope is not off limits. The night sky looks amazing right now. Uh, come over here. I want to show you something. Uh-oh. This is an accidental... Uh... <laughs> here, take a peek. Are they going to, like, touch hands as they adjust the telescope? What do you see? Hmm. A beautiful planet or a cold, dark abyss? I'd say a beautiful planet more, but I don't know if we can actually see a planet. This just seems kind of a downer. Let's see. It's amazing, isn't it? What planet was that, though? You gonna tell us? By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. <laughs> I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? That's why I'm gonna make myself into a robot and download my brain into my metallic body. Adam, uh, you, you want me to make you a robot? You could, you know, if you're while you're at it. Never mind. Uh-oh. What's happening here? We got a love connection? Here, let me show you a binary star system. Okay. And I think we're, we're bonding a little bit. She, she almost confessed her love, I think. But that'll be for another time. It is beautiful. So many pixels out there. And, but yeah, there is like a weird planet. Is that Saturn? It's only got like one fat ring. <laughs> It's a strange looking planet. We did have a meteorite land on our farm. What a beautiful night. Maru showed me something new. And hopefully our hearts went up together. All right. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, there there's some alien stuff in this game. We we saw a meteorite crash down. If on the title screen, if you like click one of the letters, an alien pops up. So I think there is some weird space stuff going on. And maybe we'll see more of it later into the game. But there we go. All right, let's hang up our picture. And head to bed. Hambone ran away. He's probably waiting for us. He's like, were you out past nine with that young lady again? Young man. Oh, can we throw this uh, on the wall here? How about... It looks a little weird to have two paintings right next to each other. Let me move that and center that. We can even... We can pick up the, the window, which uh, you'd think you'd need a carpenter to do, do that. But there we go. All right. And how much did we earn? Lots of crops. Okay, I think we have enough to upgrade my axe. I know some people are going to be like, man, you shouldn't have bought that iron. It was so expensive. It was overpriced. But I'm going to do it. I really want to get that axe and uh, get the stable as soon as we can. There we go. Look at the light pouring in from here and here. <laughs> so next day here, we are going to have clear and sunny weather as expected for the summer season. Mildly perturbed. That's not good. Oh, and we should get a little tip before we jump out onto the farm. Living off the land, summer's known for its lightning storms. If you know how to craft a lightning rod, you can harvest electricity and create battery packs. These can be sold or used for crafting. So a lot of you guys were telling me about that. We had lightning on the farm recently, and it struck one of my little corn crops. I replaced it with a poppy, but, uh, no, no, no. But yeah, it, uh, it didn't, you know, strike too much of a vengeance on Sleepy Pony Farm, but it was, it was kind of sad. I didn't have any crops to put here, so that's, it's a waste of good fertilizer. But it's okay. We got, ooh, we're going to get a lot of money. I'm just seeing it. Last time we had a blueberry harvest. Next summer, I should just only plant blueberries or something because these guys give you so many. How many? We got over 50. Tons of blueberries ready 
to get us a bunch of money. These are probably close to being done. Let's go let out my little animals here. The cows aren't going to give us anything yet, but uh, but it'll be nice here in a few days. They'll grow up. We should appreciate the time when they're babies because they will not grow up. Uh, they will not stay babies for long. Are we missing a... What happened here? I put the... I closed the door. I put everyone back in. Maybe they're still sad from before. Man, they, uh, they're all together here, huddled up, except for little Coco. Heading in last. There we go. That's the loner. That's the little cow that's on her own. Being cute over there. All right, I guess only the only Drumstick and Lorraine were nice enough to leave eggs today. Or maybe they're in there still waiting. I'll have to check before the day's up, done. Okay, so I'll pop these in the mayonnaise machine. I don't know if I really need to say... I think we have... Yeah, the summer crops, the two that we need for the five-star bundle are these two. So I can just sell these. I kind of like to save, you know, at least one of, uh, of the, the gold star ones just in case we need it. Like, that came in handy when we had the big luau. So I'll sell all this stuff for the most part. It looks like we're going to get a bunch of money. So let's throw all that in. It's not a special event today or anything. If we do finish this up, maybe I should... I don't know. We don't want to go into the mines without being ready. And I don't know how many stamina, you know, items we have left here. But for the most part, I'm going to put this here. This is a lot of the, the bundle stuff I've been kind of storing there to make sure we're good. Oh, we're, we're going to go to the blacksmith. I forgot. So I'll leave these crops. I almost forgot to pick that. I'm sure some of you guys noticed that before I did. Uh, before we... Uh, we get too far into the day. I'm going to head to the blacksmith, throw my axe into his hands, and uh, and let him do his magic. He should open at 9, I think, because the museum opens at 8, and then at 9 is the blacksmith. If we get, I have a sweet pea, if we got uh, spice berry, we could make some summer seeds, which would be nice, but now Pierre is open, so I don't, I don't have to worry about that. I don't want to spend too much of my money before we, we go forge our steel axe, but... At the same time, I should be invested in crops. Shane's heading to work. What do you want? Leave me alone. Ah. <laughs> All right, anything in here? I know we're supposed to be unlucky, and Shane's going to yell at us. I got some broken glasses. Now, a lot of this stuff is, uh, I think it's supposed to be trash, but I've heard there's a recycling machine. Ooh, a rusty spoon. A recycling machine that lets you get good things like quartz, or uh, refined quartz, out of the, uh, I think from just, you know, random junk. So I'm saving a lot of it. I'm it, My hoarding ways. I think a lot of players are like that in games where they just kind of save every potion or everything. But it'll pay off in this game. Let's put that with the artifacts. I'm not going to have a little reward for a little bit here, I think, because we just got one. So I wasn't expecting one. I'm just doing it to help out the town and make sure those little kids have rusty spoons to stare at. Okay, Clint, it's time, my friend. I'm going to upgrade... And so yeah, we could do the steel watering can as well, which it fills. I wonder if it, it's like does a, a whole line of them or like five or six, but I want this axe ready. All right. So he's going to take two days here, including today, I believe, and then he'll be done. No chopping wood, but we're good on wood. I really need to get a bunch of stone if we're going to make stuff like I would be able to make that silo if we had the stone for it, but we don't really. So I'm holding off on uh, making that. What's happening? Hey. Are we good enough friends with Sam to see a weird event here? Or is this Vincent? I wasn't expecting this. I was just going to grab some stuff. I want those worms. Hey, hello, Adam. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just keeping an eye on my little brother. It's, it's good for him to get some fresh air on a day like this. He doesn't look so happy. Our dad used to take us to the beach on sunny days like this. Hmm. They mentioned their dad before. What's he up to? Is he hanging out somewhere? Sam? How dare you talk about our father? Slap not. Is dad ever going to come home? Hmm. What is he out doing? Catching Pokemon or something? Of course, uh, Vince, dad's going to come back as soon as he possibly can. Another character with absent father. But I heard some grown-ups saying that the, all of our troops are getting shot to pieces. Whoa, he's at war? Okay. I did kind of hear something about, there's like, this place is peaceful, but in this universe, like, the, the game is set in the world with all this war going on. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't you remember how strong Dad is? He'd never let a pathetic Gotoro grunt get him like that. Don't you worry. And always remember that Mom and I are here to play with you if you ever feel lonely. I'll play with you too, little guy. Okay. 
So they're at war with the Gatoro nation or something? Yeah, I knew there was more backstory than just this game is going to really give us, so I almost wonder if the developer is going to make other games in this world. To be honest, I have no idea if my old man will come back. Uh, we've all read the reports. Our soldiers are falling by the thousands. But what am I going to say to Vincent? Hmm. Uh, it's best to be honest with kids. You did the right thing. Kids should have hope. Hmm. Hmm. This is a tough choice. I think, uh, I think he did the right thing, but at the same time, you don't want to talk down with a little... He still seems sad. Like, I think he, he should have just been honest with him. But we'll see what Sam says. Hmm? You think so? Maybe you're right. The world is a cruel place, but kids have to learn that one way or another. Well... <laughs> Thanks for that egg. How did I tell you? Uh, hey, did I tell you the band's starting to come together? Yeah, it turns out Abigail's a pretty good drummer, and Sebastian seems seemed to really want her in the band. Oh, he likes her. It seems like there's a lot of pairings for couples. Like, if you don't marry this one person, then someone else will go after him, like Harvey with Maru. Here we go. Anything good here? Clay? Don't mind if I do. It's kind of rare to find, so I'll take that. Hey, you must be getting pretty strong working on that farm all day. Maybe you'll reach my level someday. Something to look forward to, huh? Whatever that look on your face. He insulted us again. I think he said that before. All right, so I'm going to check the tidal pools. We'll head back to the farm. I got a lot of chores to do. And then uh, then we'll finish up the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got some cows that will hopefully grow strong and give us some milk. We'll turn that into cheese. I think it's going to be kind of similar to the uh, to the chickens where it's better to just like turn what they give you into something that's worth more. So probably won't sell many, you know, gallons of milk like with the eggs. But they'll be good for, for presents and we can make some good stuff like cheese out of it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in just a second, though, to finish up the day. Oh, another quest here. Ah, looking for a sweet pea. We'll pay a flat rate on delivery. Elliot. Wait, isn't that Elliot right? <laughs> Elliot, come back. I got your sweet pea, buddy. Yeah. Oh dear, my shoes are filled with sand. That's the trouble with living on the beach. Here you go, buddy. Ah, oh, the sweet pea I requested. And it's a beautiful one too. Thank you very much, Adam. I think he like saw I was carrying it and just wrote that very quickly. There we go. I wanted to get some seeds though, so I was about to pop back in here. I think we're just gonna plant some radish because radish and weed are like the only things for the most part, maybe poppies, that we could plant right now and still have it grow before the season's through. So I'm gonna get a bunch of radish crops here and we'll just, you know, finish up with that. Oh, might be too many. We're running out of money. This is like 10,000, isn't it? It's like crazy. Yeah, we almost had enough. I should probably buy that pretty soon here. We're good on uh, pack space in general, but going into the mines, which I think we'll do a lot more of come fall and winter, we'll need as much space as we can get. Okay, it's time for bed, but we got our first bit of wild honey from our little bee house. Good night, Hambone. And we're gonna tuck in, see how much money we got from all those blueberries, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. There's an owl! Whoa! Don't eat my baby animals. I, they probably, you probably couldn't eat a cow, but maybe it would pick up a chicken. All right, I'm gonna save that honey, because maybe it's useful for a bundle, probably. And how much did we get from crops? Jeez, that's a good amount. And we had next to nothing though, so it's gonna help us out. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for more Stardew Valley. Goodbye.